Hey folks, hope you're well. I'm here with the one and only, the Dr. J. Zimmerman. Dr. J. Zimmerman, welcome to my channel. And uh, what's the dog's name? Cork. Cork. Clark. Clark. Not Cork. Okay. Not County. <laughs> not County Cork. It's County Clark. <laughs> County Clark. Okay, Dr. J. There's over 10,000 studies linking poor posture to just about every chronic disease and pain. And if, I don't know if you've been checking, but nobody seems to get this, right? Nobody gets the mechanism for that. And I think you're probably one of the best people on the planet that connects those dots for people. So can you help our viewers and explain why poor posture will cause an imbalance in the muscles, the spine, yada, 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 which will ultimately lead to poor health, disease, pain, suffering, and so forth. Well, I gotta tell you, Doc, you are so correct. Texting, it's what we do here now. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a worldwide phenomenon. People are doing this, so that's creating a huge posture problem. Right. And now we're seeing the ramifications and effects of what they call text neck now from your, your head being down, forward head posture. And, and technology is not going to go away, right? I mean, that's here, that's here to stay, right? Right. Technology is not going to go away. So we have to figure out a way of what we would call, what we would call damage control. All right. Mm -hmm. You're not going to stop texting. You're not going to stop your social media on your phone. And you're not going to stop, stop shopping on Amazon. So you're always going to be looking down like this. So what can we do to minimize the negative health effects? Yeah. Well, that's where chiropractic comes in because chiropractic is all about structure and posture. If the vertebra are out of alignment, it's going to affect three primary areas. All right. The first is first that's going to be noticeable. It's going to affect the muscles. So you're going to get some sort of muscular ache and pain, stiffness, restriction of movement. But there's two other things that are going on there at the same time that are basically unseen I mean and, and you don't know it's happening until it's too late when the bone when that muscle tightens up it's gonna cause a shift in the alignment it's gonna pull that bone out of position that's gonna create friction on the joints friction today no big deal but if you leave the friction on the joints over time and it wears and wears and wears in three four or five years you're gonna get degenerative changes which are permanent arthrit arthritis the other effect, which people aren't aware of, is the nervous system effect. When that bone goes out of alignment, it alters the shape of the opening where the nerve comes out mm -hmm. of, and that starts to put pressure on the nerve, disrupting neural function. Nerves control everything in your body, so if there's pressure on the nerve and there's a disruption in neural function, then whatever that nerve goes to is not going to be as healthy as it could be without sure. proper nerve flow. So you, like you, you, see a, you see a parent with a child, and the child's looking down at their media device, right? And uh, or you have a child, for another case would be a child comes to you and they were diagnosed, God forbid, with cancer or diabetes. And we all, as a society, understand that. We say, holy cow, that's really awful. But if someone has a spinal misalignment, they don't see that as the same thing. And they don't realize that that too is going to potentially kill them or lead to... It's just as bad. <laughs> it's just as bad. And I mean, I mean, if you go back before all the research and science validated what we do, they used to call the subluxation the silent killer because it was a misalignment that existed and people just weren't, weren't aware of it. But it was gradually pressing on nerves and causing major problems. And the biggest effect that the spinal misalignment has when it's pressing on a nerve is not so much the fact that it causes symptoms or doesn't cause the symptoms, but it's suppressing immune system function. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize that, that the immune system is controlled by the nervous system. And if the vertebra are out of alignment and it's pressing on the spinal nerves, you're going to have a decrease in immune system function. And I can literally point to four or five, six, seven different studies that show you that neurologically speaking, there's a direct connection to nerve impulses and immune system function. So let's be clear here. The average punter comes in and they say, well, I, I have no pain. I'm not, I don't feel anything. I'm fine. What, what could you say to them? And I would uh, literally, uh, that question comes into my office all the time. And I say, how do you know? Exactly. How do you know that you're fine? Yeah. Well, I feel fine. Well, feeling fine isn't, isn't, a, isn't a guide to health. Feeling fine is just feeling fine. Everybody feels fine, and then one day, they're, one day a blood test comes back with horrible results, even though they still feel fine. And then all of a sudden, you, now, like you said, now they find that they have cancer. So feeling fine is not a, a marker for health. All right, so let's, let's tease this out a little bit, okay, because we're talking about like spinal misalignments causing nerve interference, which hence, hence causes pain, suffering, and disease. Can you break that down? Can you give us the model of how that happens? You, you have just such a great talent in explaining this to people that they get it. 
and can you help our audience get this because especially for our parents people out there are parents or they have loved ones and they want to explain this to them can you help us with that yeah i mean uh, i'm i'm i like that i think one of my 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 forte is sort of breaking this down into a, into an understandable um a, a method of, of lay people getting how this affects your health typically i, I come up with i have a, a way of explaining this where i use props and um three of my most popular props to describe this one is i, I have a say like an automobile tire and i have an automobile tire that's worn out all right so and i ask my patients i go all right what's the most common other than old age what's the most common cause of a worn out tire and the first response i get well is your wheels are out of alignment well if your wheels are out of alignment now there's an excess friction on the road in the tire that creates this wearing down of the surface of the tire and then your tire wears out and it degenerates and it's it's a bad tire so I, then I ask my patient, I say, well, what do you do in this situation? If you, if, you, if you just go out and get a new tire, does that fix the problem? And naturally they go, well, no, you, if you get a new tire, it's gonna wear out in three to four months again. You have to correct the alignment. Ding, bingo, all right, you gotta yeah. correct the alignment. Same thing with the spine. The bones are out of alignment. You gotta correct the alignment. If you don't correct the alignment, there's gonna be friction, there's gonna be wear and tear, there's gonna be de degeneration. So that's how I teach patients how subluxation misaligned vertebra affect the bone which is which causes permanent changes now more importantly you got to have these patients understand how it affects the neurological system neural impulses control everything in the body mm -hmm. so the simplest way to do that is, is is using irrigation as an as an example irrigation meaning let's say you have uh, your water in your lawn and, you, and you're doing it the old-fashioned way you don't have underground sprinklers you have a hose with a sprinkler that spins around <laughs> Well, let's say for some reason your, your, your hose has a kink in it and the water's not getting out at 100%. I mean, it's water in your lawn every day, but now it's, it's, it's getting out at 60 or 70% because of that kink in the hose and the water's not reaching parts of your lawn. So now all of a sudden, your lawn starts to get brown patches and it, and it starts to get burnt. And then some spots are green and some spots are, some spots are bad. Well, if you cut off all the water altogether and no water gets out, your lawn completely dies. So it's the same thing as the body. If the nervous system is not flowing the way it's supposed to, you're gonna have degrees of health. You're either gonna have a, the water flowing or the nerves flowing and you're 100% healthy. You're gonna have a kink in the hose or a blockage in your nerve and you're gonna have some sort of symptoms and not be healthy. Or there's gonna be a complete blockage in the, in the nervous system and you're gonna be dead. And I, I mean, I can't put it any more bluntly than that. Yeah, it's a great analogy, but we're, this is Ireland where it rains all the friggin' time. So. <laughs> all right, well, uh, all right. So these people I don't, don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, that's true. They don't even have hoses. Do, do they have hoses in Ireland? No, no. All right, but you got... They, they don't need them. All right, well, think of think of us poor Americans over here with hey, wait, our... Wait, 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 wait a second. Let's stop for a second. You're a Leinster fan, I hear. A Leinster fan? Yes. Yes. I When I practiced in Ireland... I, it was so long ago when I practiced you, with you in Ireland. Leo Cullen was on the Leinster developmental squad. Now, 15 years later, he's the head coach of the Leinster team. So I used to leave my apartment in Donnybrook, and I would walk across the street to where Leinster played in Donnybrook, and I would watch them every home game. I'm a huge Leinster fan. You don't, I don't have the flag up right now, but in my backyard here, I have, I have three Irish flags and two of them are Leinster rugby flags that I'll, I'll fly every time they're playing. Huge well, your, Leinster your, your fan. Your house looks like an Irish museum. <laughs> it doesn't. It does in the house. It does. It does. Very cool. Very cool. So just to be clear, Leinster's a blue team, right? Oh my God, you just lost 25, 35 patients just now, didn't you? When I practice in your office, when Leinster, every Saturday that Leinster played, and then I used to work on Saturdays, I would wear my Leinster jersey to work on Saturday morning, and all your and all of your practice members would be just thrilled to death that I was uh, a Leinster supporter. Okay, so let's get to brass tacks here now. Let's let's get into some tips, some practical, pragmatic tips you can give our, our clients. Things they can do. Things that they can do to, to correct their posture to or to, their to posture, help their yeah. posture. Yeah, to help their posture. Well, because a lot of people, this is this is a fact, and you probably get this all the time. People say, "Oh, I just joined a gym. I, I'm doing Pilates. I'm doing yoga," and, and in their world, they think they're doing the right thing. What can you? How first of all, let's. How would you address that to those people? Uh, that's an easy one because the the first thing I would tell them, and I do tell them, is you got to get under chiropractic care, because chiropractically speaking, 
by getting your structure checked and adjusted, you're balancing the musculature, which is going to decrease the tension and allow you to, to have proper posture. If you're, if you're out of alignment, you're post, you have a tendency to acquiesce to whatever the misalignments are. So you may be bent over more, you may turn your head more this way, you may be that. So it's, it's paramount to see a chiropractor for posture. Number two, I talked to them about exercise. You have to develop the muscles, they have to be strong, they have to be toned, they have to be fit because the, the more, better shape the muscles are, they're going to just pull you where you need to be. And then, and then third, um, the, the hardest thing that I talked to them about, it's called, it, it's, it's subconscious. Posture is a, is, is a huge problem because it's, it, it can be a habitual subconscious addiction type thing. You have to, to correct posture, you have to be aware of what's going on. If you're, if you're leaning over like this and you're not aware of it, you're gonna continue to lean over like this. So you have to, con there has to be some sort of conscious reminder that say, hey, look, I'm leaning over this straighten up. Yeah. And if you keep telling yourself that eventually over the course of the day and you keep straightening yourself up, you can train your, train your mental, yeah. your mental uh, process to correct that. All right, so this, uh, this strapping young man sitting next to me is Dr. Stu Katzen. He is um, a chiropractor and he is on the board of directors of Life University, the alma mater that um, uh, Dr. Woods and myself graduated from. Dr. Stu has been in chiropractic, uh, chiropractic practice for quite a while and he, he's very successful and he, and he does a lot of posture work too. Hi everybody. Well, it's a pleasure to be here today and um, to be here with uh, my good friend, uh, Dr. Wood and Dr. Zimmerman. Uh, Dr. Jay Zimmerman is not only my best friend, but he's also, I don't want to embarrass him, but he's also one of my mentors. When I graduated chiropractic school, I listened to an audio tape um, subscription service which interviewed Dr. Jay, and I found out that he was living here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and I sought him out. And um, he was my first introduction to the area. And um, the things that he talks about with his patient education is paramount. And uh, he actually wrote a book on patient education that I read when I got out of school and it helped influence me in my patient education process. And one of the things that we always talked about when we talk about structure is posture is the window to your spine and nervous system. So it's not just a physical how you look, it's how you function. So we know that an optimal functioning spine and nervous system leads to optimal health. And there's a condition which can interfere with that called the subluxation, which are misalignments of the spine due to poor posture poor sleeping habits, showing you exercise. These things can put stress on your spine, cause misalignments, interfere with the function of the nervous system. And that's the key of what um, the success that we have with our patients is by taking pressure off the nervous system, the body can function better. You have the brain and you have the spinal cord. You have 26 bones in your spine. If any one of those come out of alignment, as Dr. J mentioned earlier, puts endangering stress on the spinal cord and the spinal nerves, which will then interfere with function. So as we were talking earlier, poor posture, poor sleeping habits, texting, sitting over at the laptop computer. I use them as well, but the keyboard and monitor are so close together, so if you're hunched over, that puts endangering stress on the spine, can irritate the nerves too. So a doctor of chiropractic is trained to detect and correct these misalignments called subluxations. And with gentle procedures that we train, we can adjust these misalignments and help restore function, health, and inevitably people feel better as well. But you know, symptoms are the last thing to show themselves and the first things to go away. So we can't rely on symptoms to monitor our health. We need to be proactive more than reactive. Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. Goodbye from New Jersey. Goodbye. Hey, we want to thank you. Forget about it, all right? You come <laughs> over here, you come visit us, okay? Nice talking to you. Oh, whack you. <laughs> Forget about it. Slauncha.